job. Looks like a kid with that beard. Hey, and did you hear about that big fish he caught? <laughs> really? <laughs> no. No. Dog? What? Nothing. I was doing nothing. I was doing nothing. Come on, baby. Shh, shh, shh. Don't get it. Don't get it. Shh. <laughs> you can drive to Fort Lauderdale in 37 hours. Really? Yeah. You just got to stoke up on the burrito. Uh, Donald. Um, I found your glasses in the boardroom. <laughs> I don't need them anymore! What? Don't you get it? Ah! My eyesight's getting better! I'm getting better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Donald! Donnie, what's wrong? We said it, you old skank. Well, I'm certainly not a skank. I don't know what's my strength, but this chair keeps breaking. What's wrong with your voice, Donald? <laughs> Nothing. My uh, beard's a little too tight, that's all. <laughs> Can't breathe. Can't breathe. As soon as I hurt. What you're about to see may terrify you. Enjoy a freaky movie with your robot pals Tom Servo and Crow on Mystery Science Theater 3000. It's up next here at Comedy Central. Show 506, real one. In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at his Monic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss is feeling like a suit and shot him in his face. Keep 
stupid mind you can't control Where the movies begin or end Because he used those special parts To make his robot friends Robot Cool Call Cabot Gypsy Tom Servo Cool Well, Crow, you're not quite zero Kelvin, but still, it's got to be pretty cold in there, huh? All right, this is nothing. Give me the deep freeze, Mama Jarrah. All right. Woo! Hey, hey hi, Tom. Hi, Crow. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm Joe Ro Hey, wait a minute. What's with the Crow in the box? Oh, we're bringing his temperature down to absolute zero. Seems like it might be kind of fun. Wait a minute. You can't do that. Right. If you go to absolute zero, there'll be no molecular motion. It'll start a chain reaction and kill us all. Yeah, that's kind of how it played out in our scenario, too. Well, wait a minute. That's kind of stupid, isn't it? Yeah, it's stupid. We got to get him out of there. Oh, oh. oh good one, Joel. Oops. Uh, we'll be right back. I'm not putting them back together, either. I'm dead! I'm Dr. Oz. Join me for a discussion of sex and the modern man. Part of Comedy Central is my favorite Martin. And remember, he's not my Martin, he's not your Martin, he's our Martin. Watch My Favorite Martin, a day-long marathon of Dream On starting Sunday at noon. The Silver Bullet, a ship cold to tap the clean taste of the Rockies. It's a hot world. Make sure you have a cool citrus drink. Drench it, drench it, sweet off first. Hey! Squirt your first. Johnny, what's in that movie? Break, all right? Back off. Hey, Johnny, who's the girl? Go, 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 get out of here! Thanks, Johnny. You tabloid photographers. I'm just a tourist. Yeah, right, pal. What's this? Just an Olympus for simple snapshots. Everybody knows Olympus is the camera professionals use for their snapshots. Johnny, come up for your fans. <laughs> There's more soap residue in your clothes than you think. So you'd better call Rain Sock. Pass the ball. What are you, the black hole of basketball? You gonna let her call you a black hole? Not a hole, a black hole. What's a black hole? When she became coach, oh! the Knicks were nothing but losers. You are not a coach. You're not a player looking like a little roach. Now she'll put some funk. You don't want to hustle. You don't want to do anything. In their dunk. Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> and rated PG-13. Starts Friday, May 31st at a theater near you. Hello, I'm Mary Major, and these are real people, not actors, who are taking advantage of PRN's exceptional psychics. It was excellent. I'm shocked. <laughs> Felt like she was just right with me and knew my life as soon as I picked up the phone. She laughed and everything. She made she made you feel comfortable. And it was great. It was it was nice. It looks and like you guys found the right people. <laughs> For one, someone's found the right people. For your free sample reading, call now. 1-800-895-34. Okay, there you go. Good as new. Sure. If you ignore the massive structural damage and my complete lack of any re resale value. Yeah, I was ignoring that. Oh. Yeah. Oh, hi. Say, would you guys hurry up with that glue? It's really starting to affect me. Okay. Tab and slot beer calling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Joel. I was just talk to her. Have you seen my long underwear? 
I'm late for my ice dancing lesson. No, I haven't seen your long underwear, Frank. Then to be perfectly honest, I wouldn't wear your long underwear even... Oh, Joel. <laughs> Invention exchange. Now, I've got a nutty idea. <laughs> but uh, be a dear and go first. Uh, I need a couple of minutes. Sure, if you're not ready to go, we'll go no problem. Jeez, foot. Anyway, my good friend Crow locked up the deal to do the music for the Beverly Hillbillies movie. Yeah, well, we're hammering out a deal memo. And you know. it led to an amazing discovery. Right. Now, remember the Beverly Hillbillies was part of the Paul Henning Hooterville trilogy? Right, that was the Beverly Hillbillies, yep. Green Acres, right. and Petticoat right, Junction. Right, right, right. Uh, they all had this really cool incidental music. Yeah, it was music that went... Oh, no, 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 no. If I made Joel, oh, sure. it was more like... The point is, I didn't know how to make that music until we came up with... The Pork Arena. Now, don't worry, all you pig lovers. We didn't use a real pig. We didn't. Oh. No, we just reinvented the instrument that made the original incidental music. The original was lost in the tragic Universal fire. Hey, here comes Mr. Haney pulling another hilarious limb play. <laughs> well, Mr. Douglas... That there is a genuine dirt burger. That's not a dirt burger. <laughs> and there's the efficient Miss Hathaway. <laughs> oh, Jethro! <laughs> and there's Uncle Joe. He's moving kind of slow at the junction. <laughs> well, pretty hot. Kind of tired. He's going to go fishing, but it's too damn hot. Better sit down for a little while. Yep, yep. When's that government check coming in? Pretty hot. Kind of bloated. Gonna die soon. You're up, sirs. Joel. The human body. Unattractive? Sure. Even worse, it's inefficient. Especially Frank's human body. I'm late for my ice dancing lesson. Uh, that's why I've drained Frank's blood. You, you what? You, you can't, can't do, do that. that? Don't worry. I replaced it with propylene glycol, radiator fluid. I even surgically implanted a radiator so Frank won't overheat in the summer and won't freeze up in the winter. And you act like I'm the jerk. I'm so cold. Uh, granted, uh, Frank's new system does need to be flushed nightly, uh, but once you get the hang of it, it's not quite as tricky as it seems and can even be done on an outpatient basis. <laughs> Well, wait a minute. Why don't you just leave Frank with his own blood? That way he could wear a jacket and scarf and stuff. And since Frank's blood was a previously unknown type, the money that that brings in should... Why? Because it's science, that's why. Oh, Frank here. Why don't you run on to your lesson now? Come on. Go ahead. Scoot. Scoot. <laughs> Joel, speaking of unattractive human bodies, your movie this week, e -ga, has got Richard Keel and not much else. Look, Frank signed all the forms. It's an improvement. He even likes it. Why, he's probably out there right now skating his little heart out. <laughs> Ega. <laughs> oh, God. Ready? Holiday for pigs. <laughs> ah! I'm Charles Corralt, and we're going to leave you with this shot of a flower. Cactus flower with Goldie Haw. Hey, it's Scattergories. Ooh, look, the sign is leaking. Ugh. Oh, that was Art Cloakey's first study of Gumby there. Yes, you too can learn how to play the guitar in two easy lessons. Oh, my eager fired man. Oh, this must be that grunge look from Seattle. It, it's from Seattle, I've heard. Mm -hmm. Is that a real poncho or a Sears poncho? Richard Keel is Ega Templar, the saint. Um, focus. It focuses, please. Hello, hello, Mr. Smoker. Over. Focus. <coughs> The cattle are smoking again. I'm dead. Don't smoke. Oh, yeah.
Oh, wait a minute. They got demons flipping us off here. Hey, hey. back at you, Clyde. Otis Nixon. <laughs> he looks like a thin William Hickey. Take it to boss. Well, actually, it seems to be exhibiting a sort of ineluctable uh, defenstration of heroism, apart from the patient's father's father. Poppies will make us sleep. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the crypt. We've dug something up for you. <laughs> Why not stick around and watch Dream On? It's the breast to show on TV. <laughs> Kill me. Boy, this looks like it's really going to be scary. What with the smoke and flowers and everything. Frightening mm. effects. Mm. Circle Pines After Dark. It's Fredericks of Maplewood. The Loretta Young Show. <laughs> I'm young and free and feeling fresh. Taxi. Oh, I drove. <laughs> now I forget. Can I drive a stick? Oh. The flying sub. I think it's a bug-eyed sprite. Ooh. And so is she. Oh. <laughs> Honk if you love Ega. <laughs> Hi, Roxy. Sorry about my this, face. Uh, thought I was supposed to meet you up at the club. Well, you still are. I just bought myself a new swimming suit tonight. Can I wear it? Oh. Oh. Yes. See? No! Oh, that? Sex appeal. Well, I get off work in ten minutes. Follow me out then. Follow you? Sex appeal. Listen, I can change clothes and beat you out there. <laughs> Again, sorry about the face. That's my girl. Her father's Robert I. Miller. Yeah, I just pumped my gas right butt head. You ought to see her swim. Hey, putting that in the way back. My kids are back there. I don't know why, but I wish he'd pistol whip him. Mm -hmm, yeah. Gee, I sure am sorry, sir. But I'm sort of an idiot. I, I was thinking about having dinner with my girl. She lives up at the club. Yeah, with Robert I. Miller. Mm -hmm. 77 Sunset Strip. How oh, will you make it on your own? Uh, uh. I've got a new swimsuit, everybody. <laughs> oh, no, she's chasing down Emmett Kelly. <laughs> Suddenly, she began to doubt the whole bathing suit purchase. My fault, sorry, all my fault. I'm with Allstate, who are you with? Oh my god, the Schwanstucker. Lua, which way to Bly Workshop? You know, I heard Keel at live this entire scene. <laughs> it's funny, I was driving a stick too. <laughs> Ah, oh, damn foreign cars. Well, there's something you don't see every day. Uh, still. Uh, Mr. Hose Clamp, uh, you'll want to get that checked when you get back to town. Oh, forget it. I'm going back to sleep. Mm. Uh, well, I found this in your grill. Probably what was causing all the trouble. Still. So, uh, you had a root beer and a side of fries with that? <laughs> no, you got can't go with that. Not much leg room. Mm -mm. Say, could you give me a lift to Stephen J. Gould's house? Yeah. Jim Morrison, the Paris years. Oh, he's doing Tai Chi on her. Hmm? <laughs> Come on, she come. <laughs> I'm still making payments! Busted. Say it better that. Hey, Ega, how you doing, buddy? What's <laughs> ah! me, Tom? That's why I'm screaming! Ah! Tommy! No. 
the matter? What happened? There was a Poco song on the radio. Is he gone? Who? Is he? Disney? Hmm? Anybody? Take it easy and tell me what happened. Uh, is she really died. going out with him? Well, I did. Honest, I saw a giant. Ooh, that face. I feel handsome in comparison. You know, the nice thing about this car is that she can fold it up and put it in her purse. It's compact. Yeah. Crate and barrel? Eh? No, it was right in the middle of the road. Not a half mile from here. William Faulkner. He doesn't believe me. You didn't really expect anyone to, did you, Miss Miller? <laughs> Why not? It's the truth. Ooh, good comeback. Honey, a uh, prehistoric monster is a rather large order to swallow. Dad, I didn't say he was a monster. He was a giant. It's a big difference. Mm -hmm. You know, a caveman. A club and all, eh? Yes. Yeah. What my daughter saw, she saw. Now, let's just let it go at that. Could you just take our order, please? But if you see your giant again, let me know in time to take some pictures. Be it you you were. Original import. Taste German beer at its finest. Bex, America's favorite German beer. People routinely travel to places in search of comfort, peace, and quiet. We asked ourselves, why can't such a place be a car? The Maximum, from Nissan. Saturn has three 32-bit processors. Delta Sector! Three processors mean better gameplay. Delta Sector, you hear me? Sony PlayStation only has one. Sega Saturn, now only 249. When you've got Sega Saturn, nothing else matters. Sega! I'm Dr. Ruth, with some advice for you. Watch my favorite marathon, a marathon of Dream On, right here at Comedy Central and release the Martin Papa inside you. Watch My Favorite Martin, a day-long marathon of Dream On, starting Sunday at noon. The USA Network has original programming, but they always get bad reviews. At Comedy Central, at least we don't drag the name of our country down with our bad reviews. Watch Comedy Central, the network that doesn't use our country's initials. Paid for by the enemies of Comedy Central's enemies. Not every person in Dr. Cat's life has problems. Meet his son, Ben. Ben? Yeah. Don't get fruit loops on my bed, please. Sorry. Meet his receptionist, Laura. The doctor does not sell gift certificates. And his friend, Stanley. Cats, cats, what's that? Uh, yeah. We both know what you need. Which is? Which is? Which is a little, uh, Oh, you're talking about something. Yeah. 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 Get to know Dr. Cats, professional therapist, Sundays at 10, only at Comedy Central. Come to Ega Retirement Village for the good life. Tom Caves and Slag Heap starting at $100,000. Couldn't you have imagined the whole thing? No. Now, let's be realistic about this. You said yourself that you think. Isn't it possible that you dreamed this whole idea? No, Dad, I didn't. There was a doll. Well, she's got a neat shape. Now, I don't want to Where? tell the story of yours a lot of foolishness, and I haven't so far, have I? No. But if there were a giant, if anyone at all Mr. had Miller, been here... Huh? Come here. My neck snap. What'd you find? I don't know. It sure looks like a footprint, though. Well, let me see. It's dirt. Yeah, look. There's the heel, and there's the toe. That's an ant colony, you idiot. 
Look at the size of that. Glenn was 50 feet tall. It must have been made by... Say it. A giant. What did I tell you? Hooray, I won. Mm. And that's for finding it. I'll find the big boy himself for it if you feel like that. He left the road right here. Watch out for snakes. Who oh. said that? Uh, let's not forget where we parked supercar. <laughs> Better go back to car. No, he's my giant. Holy cow, he was standing right here watching us. Playing bass. And then he turned and took off her. There? Shadow Mountain. You suppose that's where he lives? Oh, to live on Shadow Possibly. Mountain. That would account for his never having been seen before. It's too bad we didn't bring the doom buggy. Let's go yeah. after him. Huh? What for? I can get some pictures. Maybe even to bring him back. A lot of people aren't going to believe this giant jazz. No, we're not sending about this, you understand? Why not? After the way everyone laughed at me. Huh. Your turn will come. He's got third degree burns. I'm going up on Shadow third Mountain with a camera. <laughs> Are you going to write a book about the giant, Mr. Miller? That's the idea, Tom. Yeah. I'll take you up there. My doom buggy's all ready to go. No, thank you. It is. I just gave it the works. There's no offense, son. Damn it, son. But I'd like to take this trip in something a little bit safer. More stylish. <laughs> he resents my dune buggy. <clears throat> Watch out for snakes. Whirly birds. Blue thunder. Mash. Apocalypse now. Dispatches. <laughs> you see it's a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I got a flat tire here. <laughs> I'll see you in about two days at the most. Well, please take care of yourself. Now, my credit cards are in the desk drawer. You make sure you leave them there. That's fun. This thing's supposed to be safer than my dune buggy? Oh, shut up about your dune buggy, you little twerp. All right, I like sir, let's go. Yeah. Uh, got my shoe trees in here. Ouch, my hand! <laughs> Richard Dixon leaving the White House. Yeah, that's how we promised never to do oh, that again. Sorry, Ooh. cut my fingers crossed. Look at those legs. Boy, they're really hitting it off. Hey, Skipper, look at this thing on my leg here. It's like a mole, but it keeps flaking off. See that? I want that. Now, there should be a ramp charger up there. Oh, for a shoulder-mounted anti-aircraft gun. Oh, you mean a stinger. Whatever. Commute to work or play in your own personal helicopter. Miracle Acrylic Bubble makes it possible. Ega drives a tank? Well, uh, I don't really know what to say, Roy. Look, this isn't goodbye, really. There are other helicopter rides. So you got everything? Surprise! I am Jose Greco. Now, don't you forget, I want you to meet me at the mouth of Deep Canyon tomorrow at 4. <laughs> sure, 4, whatever. <laughs> I sure hope it doesn't get hot. <sighs> Geez, that helicopter took off fast. Where'd he go? Hey, to the left. That, yeah. There. Hey, that's my daughter. See, those are his contact lenses. He's quite nearsighted, actually. <laughs> Meet him at Deep Mouth Canyon tomorrow at four. What the hell was I thinking? Jeez. Oh, yeah, you can tell he's an experienced mountaineer. Thank <laughs> you.
the hell? Is that a bell, Huey? Whoa, flashback's kicking in. Dang. <laughs> Uh, better tell others. Oh, wait, there are no others. The old Indiana Jones Chronicles. Watch out for snakes. It's Lawrence of Pasadena. Oh man, look, he's wearing corrective shoes with black socks. Wearing corrective everything. Oh, this is a Kodak moment. Okay, say embers. They took the whole Cherokee Nation. This is going to prove a lot to the Royal Geographic Society. Yeah. Howard Hughes! <laughs> Victim of his own fashion sense. No! <laughs> no means no, Ega. Oh, no. No, no. no. <laughs> it's under a big W. Uh, oh. Oh, it's a Tampax commercial. I love you, Vicky. Da! You know I do. You know, maybe you should move those amps away from the pool. <laughs> He's surrounded by adoring housewives. So the first day we met was my last day. Brian Jones! Vicky! What? Oh, Vicky! What? Shut up, you're embarrassing me! What have I done? Oh, would the gentleman by the side of the pool please just continue the song? Um, watch out for snakes. Johnny Winter and. Look, Mom, watch me! <laughs> Man, it looks like it hurts to be him. Don't love me. I was a fool. Oh, bet the people in those rooms are calling the management right now. No, that comes right from the sewage system. I'm so naughty. I'm such a little brat. Mm hmm. Like a Cabbage Patch Elvis. Vicky, oh, oh, Vicky. Oh, could just talk to me. If I could just call you. Mm, did you enjoy my frolicking? I'm naughty, you know. Mm hmm. Would you give I'm just going to drink you in <laughs> so Gosh, I'm sorry, pal. I've been so distracted. I just keep thinking about that slick gas station in today's movie. Did you notice how sleek and beautiful it was? Ah, uh, gee, no, Joel. I can't say as I did. Uh, cuckoo, cuckoo. Hey, cuckoo. come on. I'm serious. There existed a time when our nation took pride in its service station. They gleamed like a beacon of hope from coast to coast. Then one day, kablooey. You know, Sky Chief Super Service turned into the tank and tummy. I don't mind telling you guys. The day this country went self-service was the day that hell began to bubble up and flood the earth. Oh, I hate to burst your bubble, Joel, but uh, what about the bubonic plague, World War, oh, Stalin? Well, come on, those are all big things. You know, hell works better when it's a lot more subtle. Here, I'll give you an example. Okay, Crow, uh, what do you think of Adolf Hitler? Well, I hate him naturally. Right, now, uh, what do you think of the band Stick? Well, you know, they had one or two decent... Oh, my God, you're right. I get it now, Joel. Oh... 
Now, I'm, I'm not certain when hell started for me, but I think it has something to do with Christopher Cross. Yeah, yeah. Well, remember the time that Charlie Weaver died and it wasn't even in the papers? Yeah. Or when the 86 charts. I think the first time Flo said, kiss my grits, something inside all of us withered and died. Using Joe Camel to sell cigarettes to kids seems like a pretty ripe slice of hell. Yeah, I agree with that. And then there was the time Dennis Leary released No Cure for Cancer as an album. And then the time Vicki Lawrence won a Grammy for The Night the Lights Went Out in Georgia. I know I stand alone on this, but the day Blansky's beauties got canceled. Yeah, you stand alone on that. Yeah, pretty much. Sinbad's pretty icky. Yeah, what about the Charlene Tilton workout video? Joel, what chance do we have in a world that keeps presenting us with vivid images of hell? Well, there's personal liberty, strength of conviction. Those have been known to work. Mm -hmm. Then there's the time the country rallies together to beat back hell. Like the time we as a nation said no to Yahoo Serious. I remember that. All of us, together, drawn inexplicably to the slobbering mouth of hell, and then suddenly, somehow, by some unknown force, rescued in the nick of time like Moses and the Israelite. Now, who in creation is powerful enough to do that? Gee, Davy, do you think it was God? We'll be right back. Incredibly shiny, healthy hair begins with Citrus Shine. With natural extracts of exotic citrus fruit, Citrus Shine responds to your hair's individual needs with nourishing shampoos, protective conditioners, stylers that hold and control, and shine treatments that maximize luster. Citrus Shine is nature's prescription for beautiful hair. So rediscover healthy, shiny hair the natural way. I do not drive to work. I do not drive to get from point A to point B. I do not drive to run away from the world. I just love to drive. The new 1996 Monte Carlo. Personal space from genuine Chevrolet. The cars more Americans trust. See your Chevy dealer for special 4.8% APR financing on Monte Carlo. Well, Doc, it all started about a year or so ago. I started hearing these voices everywhere I went. Ten cents in it, one dime, and it's good forever. Good idea. Sometimes I hear the strange counting. One minute, two minutes, one minute, two minutes. Now I can't go anywhere without the voices. Doc, in all your years, does it remind you of anything? Doc? Doc? Actually, Kenneth, it reminds me that I want to call Sprint for that dime rate myself. Boy. Sprint cents. Call now for ten cents a minute. like to draw or paint or maybe just sketch or doodle? Well, if you do, chances are you have the interest needed to become a serious art student. And here's how you can find out. By simply calling toll-free, Art Instruction Schools will send you without cost or obligation this enjoyable art test. You take it at home in your spare time, and when you've finished, you simply mail it in. Your test is then reviewed and graded by experts. So call toll-free today for your art test. And don't let the wonderful world of art pass you by. To get your free art test, call this toll-free number now. Don't delay. Call this number now. Call 1-800-447-8000. That's 1-800-447-8000. Oh, look. He's dressed for a Benny Hill audition. Harry Connick, Jr.? Hello. Hiya, Ega. Hiya, Dave. Yes. Hiya. Dad'll understand. Ew. Yeah. Oh. Those things. Johnny Quest. Just a minute, please. What? Do you know where Deep Canyon is? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. I've been there lots of times. Why? Don't worry, Mr. Cougar. I'll take care of it. Can I have some money for some chuckles? Yes. Thanks for calling. Goodbye. Bye-bye. What's up? That was Mr. Kruger from the airport. The helicopter blew a gasket or something. He won't be able to pick Dad up. At Deep Canyon? I pledge allegiance. Yes. To your dad. No problem. We'll get the dune buggy and we'll whiz right out there. I got it. He looks like the bat from Fern Gully. No. Rat Patrol in three or four colors. This is whizzing? 
Wait till we get off the highway. Joel, do you ever whiz out in the desert? <laughs> hey, it's Schlepp Car. Hang on your charter belt. There's no run here. This was a buggy with mad for. This swell for tearing up fragile ecosystems. Watch. Looks like sheltering sky meets the arch. <laughs> On their way to Thunderdome. Welcome to the jungle! Ooh. Ooh, I gotta go! Be your bound! My tires are filled with water. You getting cool? No! The weight! Ooh. Gives me traction in the sand. Watch this! Huh. Oh yeah, that really is something. Would you just drive, please? I think she's in pain. Put a wallet under her tongue. <laughs> Dad can wait. This is a blast. <laughs> Stop that. Don't do that. Oh, are they carrying a pig? Come on. Dad's waiting. Oh, forget Dad. We're young. What about us? We have to talk about our relationship. <laughs> Stop saying we. Nobody says we. Oh, this is a real Lucy and Viv situation right here. Huh? We? You know, they should throw some snow under those tires. It's a switcheroo! Oh, Boom! Fun's over. We're gonna die now. Huh? I was afraid we were going to have to neck for a minute. Hey, Neat, the music got us out of trouble. Thing going, baby. Hey, you know, if this was a Mountain Dew ad, uh, wouldn't they be uh, water skiing on roller skates being pulled by horses off of cliffs? We. Oui. Welcome to Death Valley Days. There you are, Deep Canyon. I don't see that anyplace. Okay, let's go to her. The Endless Bummer. See? I wonder whose hand that was. I don't know. To be with the human. To live like the human. Just making a place to set your dad's body once we find the remains. Hey, take it easy on that water. Well, I don't want us to dry out before dad gets here. And don't you eat anymore. And don't okay. touch my soup starter. It's got to cook for a while. Do you think we'll freeze to death before the jackals get us? What do you suppose happened? He died. Oh, nothing happened. He's not coming on a bus, you know. You can't expect him to be right on the dot. Don't make me think so much. Should have made it for dark. Don't worry about it. Hmm. You'll see the campfire and come walking in on us any minute now. That's what you said two hours ago. Well, he will. Well, if you believe that, what's the idea of the bedrolls? Look, I carry all this junk in the buggy anyway, so you might as well get some use out of it. I'm not sleepy. I'm petulant. When Edward Albee dabbles in beach movies. Lie down, take a rest for a while. I keep the fire going. I'll just break off a pound of my hair at a time and burn it. Hey, what are you doing with that? <laughs> I carry a gun in the desert. There's coyotes around a camp. Put it away. We're not playing cow. You know there's mountain lions around here, too. And elephants well, and stuff. Well, they won't come near a fire. I know that much. And I'm not going to have you take a shot at something that turns out to be dead. Okay, okay. I'll put her away in one condition. That you crawl in and get some rest. Okay. We won't shoot your dad, okay? Jeez. Oh, Roxy, I'm going to sing myself to sleep. He borrowed that top from Audrey Hepburn. Arch, no. No, Arch, no, please. Uh, no, please. She's packed to move and can be drop shipped to your home overnight. Fortunately, you remembered to bring the Isley Brothers. Kind of like a MIDI silver tone working there, huh? 
went on to do music for Sergio Leone. I'm Jeff, and I am visited upon you. Overhead, a thousand ladies. Well, you don't. In a marble. This should keep the wolves away. I'd be in the Museum of Modern Art. I don't know. What the hell is that? Hey, stop smiling. He's smiling. That's nice. Honey, where's your 12 gauge? Vitamins are good, they say, and so is a calorie. But I feel like a tiger on the I've heard enough. I'll go beat him senseless. I couldn't stand tomorrow. Couldn't you be moving his lips? They can have today. No, I'm not going to kill him right away. I'll let him linger. If I had a billion dollars, they raise my taxes. <laughs> salary. He makes Debbie Boone sound like Hound Dog Taylor. I spend it all on I figured it out. He's a cyst with teeth and hair. Mm, to to I demand you stop smiling. Salary. Now, is she Billy Joe, Betty Joe, or Bobby Joe? Come on, Ega, hurry up! Where's that club? Ega, Ega, bonk, bonk on the head. And up the road with Comedy Central's Dream on Marathon. There is so much sexual experimentation on this show that sometimes I blush. Watch My Favorite Martin, a day-long marathon of Dream On starting Sunday at noon. A man of intrigue, he lives for the thrill. Always has places to go and people to kill. Danger is the game he plays and he holds every card. Cause if you wanna win, you gotta spy hard. Starts May 24th. People, this is not a test. We are in DEFCON 5. Alpha Sector. Check. Tango Sector. Check. Delta Sector. Only Sega Saturn has three 32-bit processors. Delta Sector. Three processors mean better gameplay. Delta Sector, you hear me? Sony PlayStation only has one. Sega Saturn, now only 249. Three, two, one. When you've got Sega Saturn, nothing else matters. Want Playboy's exclusive double feature video free? You'll get twice the excitement with Playmates Hottest Hideaways video, starring over 40 gorgeous Playmates. Plus, you'll also get Playmates Private Nights video with dozens of the most beautiful women ever captured by Playboy. This double feature video is yours free, and it's not available in stores. Get both videos absolutely free with a paid subscription to the world's most exciting men's magazine. Call now, and you'll also get Playboy's Playmate Fantasies free. This dazzling full-color pictorial features some of the sexiest images ever revealed by Playboy. This exclusive TV offer gives you 12 great issues of Playboy. Month after exciting month at over 43% off the cover price. Call now and included in your subscription, you'll get the Playmate of the Year issue, the Pigskin Preview, the Gala Christmas issue, and the Playmate Review. All for just four low monthly payments of $8.74. Use your credit card for quicker delivery. Don't miss out. Call this toll-free number to get 12 exciting issues of Playboy. Plus, Playmate's Hottest Hideaways, Playmate's Private Nights, and Playboy's Playmate Fantasies free. Archie's here. Da -da 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 -da. One way or the other, what do you think? I don't know. I've never thought before. Well, I'll climb up there, wait and see if the buggy can get through. Poor shovel. Didn't ask to be in this movie. No, you better stay here. No. There's no reason both of us going. We gotta come back to the buggy anyway. Well, then we'll come back. I'm not going to sit here doing nothing. Oh, women. 
Uh, let's see, what did I mean by that? You stay here with a buggy. Nope. And drive it up to meet me when I give you the signal. That'll save us both a trip. Come on. I'm whining you. Please. Okay. Ah, uh, the gun. Toss it. Now your lunch. Toss it. Oh, I can see it coming. A tragic accident. Come yes. on, come on. Yes. Oh, oh, damn. Give me a blast in that horn if you see anything. Don't worry about that. Oh, you know, he's built for childbearing, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Serpentine! Serpentine! I see a cactus. Ah. I see a lizard. Ah. Keep going, you sap. Just over that ridge. That's it. I'm out of here. Stay alive! Whatever may occur, I will find you! See? I told you so. Watch out for snakes. <laughs> well, 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 well. Ah, come on, boy. Just a little closer. Mm, smooth pink meat. Wearing shorts, too. Mm, nothing but meat on that boy. Huh. Oh, I do want to look good for you, darling. Why am I losing my hair in big chunks? A nice steering wheel. I don't know about all this, huh? It's sunny. My dress is blue. Hmm? A nice shovel. Dum -dum 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 -dum. What about my nose hair? Hmm? You're here, and he's got the traveler's checks there. Archie's in the Gaza Strip. This is my country. What was I looking for again? Sky? Oh, no, woman. I should have wrote that note to myself. I mean, the way it's so blue. Hmm. Why are those buzzards circling? Huh. What? What's that smell? Is that me? Oh, oh. No? Don't hit! Oh, he knows women, and she's gonna want that first. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this is really hard finding the... Okay, man. Owie. Oh, my girl is hips. Ow. <laughs> Huh? Roxy! Music! Roxy! And elsewhere! Oh, I let another one. Roxy! Roxy, where are you? I'm being abducted! You know, Ega should have taken two trips. First the purse in the club, then the girl. Would have been easier. Oh boy, I made good time. Mm -hmm. Oh no, he's got people stacked like cordwood in there. <sighs> He is this close to being Dom Deloise. Now, I see you've met Ega. He'll spoil you. I'm spent. Visit caveofthemounds.com. Uh, that's okay. Don't help. <sighs> yep, yep. This looks much better over here by the lime deposit. Ega, I woke up. You weren't here. I hate that. You said you lived alone. There, play nice. Roxy. You finally break up with that weird faced kid? Roxy. Uh, I got it, Roxy. Uh, Oofy. Roxy. Dad. No, she can snap in and out of consciousness, can't oh, she? Dad. Oh. oh, are you hurt? No, I wear this thing for I effect, you doorknob. Let me help you. Ow! That's okay. How did you get here? Well, we came looking for you, and, and we we're both so worried that we didn't know what to do. No, no. No. Huh? No, no. No, just oh, a joke. No. She's mine. The doggone girl is mine. <laughs> She's mine. He understands you. Uh, we got a beautiful friendship going. Is that irony, Dad? Hmm? What's he saying? Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop? Take it easy. <gasps> Dad! No, this guy went to the Torgo School of Fondling. <laughs> Me? Here, him? Smiles. Mmm, smell loves baby sauce. 
Oh, no, you smell him, honey. Scent of a woman. He likes your perfume. Smell all you want. But Go take ahead. all you smell. What became of the others? What others? He's smiling. You didn't come out here alone, did you? No. Tish, that's Tom's French. Tom's with me. I mean, he's out there somewhere. Oh, he's just curious. Oh, oh he's pawing me, Daddy. That's okay, precious. Oh. He got like get caught in rain. It's oh, real, see? Honey, I've been telling him about you. How do you do? Ooh. What's he doing? Looking for lice, I believe. Oh, they... Careful, honey. Take it easy. He won't hurt you. He hurt you? No. I uh, did that myself when I fell on the camera. What a great dad. Dad, I think you better break this up before I scream. Tell him you're hungry. I'm not. Well, think of the alternative. That's it. I'm leaving. I'm hungry. Because uh, I thought of the alternative. Hungry. Uh, I have ramen noodles and brown mustard. That's it. Well, uh, go ahead. Just tell me. Uh, two words. Uh, movie. Uh, sounds like... Uh, uh, no. Would you like to see the titles again? I'll just have a salad. What are those? Those are his relatives. Well, they're really lame. I am William Burroughs. I am William Burroughs. I am William Burroughs. I'm Rose Kennedy. There's dead. Yes, apparently for some time. It's always so awkward meeting the family. <laughs> vowels, Ega. We need vowels. I'll make the daiquiris. Come on, Dad. Let's make a run for it. Yeah, Here, it I'll won't go. work. The entrance is blocked. Oh, what are we going to do? I don't know. First of all, you could quit leaning on my broken collarbone. Oh, great. Dinner's a Duraflame log. He's telling his family all about you. He's actually a pretty funny guy. He told them about me last night. <laughs> you should have been there. We really got the giggles. We cried. Think how lonely he must be. Yeah, he should get into league bowling. I know whatever he is, he's a human being. Norman? Who's the girl, Norman? Who is she? Oh, it's Wilfred Hydewife. No, it's, yes, 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 she's a very nice girl. Oh, yes, 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 capital. Yes, smashing. Yes, yes. Was she? Uh-huh. Yes, uh, she's Catholic. Mm-hmm. It's either German or he's bourbon. Hmm. My three skulls. What'll I do? It'll be all right. Play it by ear, but don't let him. So you have designs up for my side? Yes, for dinner. Literally. How do you do? I'm really, really dead. Oh, and there's red. Well, that one looked like a very important ancestor. <laughs> Shake hands with him, Roxy. Oh, Dad. I'm kidding, of course. Oh, please oh, meet you. Oh, he doesn't oh, know they're oh, He suspects. I think so. Or just can't make himself accepted. I'm not having any trouble. Make his mouth move, sweetie. I'll oh, make the funny voice. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. Beck's, the original import, tastes German beer at its finest. Beck's, America's favorite German beer. A sparkling ship on crystal waters is coming. Absolutely gorgeous. It was so much fun. The perfect lobster is coming. For our readers, they would do anything for us. They are any time. Perfection is coming. A gift from the captain. Memories are coming. Seven days in Royal Caribbean's Bermuda are coming. You've got some Royal Caribbean coming. I deserve 
ride on a Polaris watercraft. 25 reasons. Number one, I am a people person. Number two, very clean ears. I've been known to scoop the poop. Women find me attractive. And number 25, children are our future. Get a life vest free when you buy before May 31st. <laughs> For years, we have watched the skies and waited. A signal. Definitely sky-based. But we never imagined we could be looking for something. They're not here now. They will be soon. That's already found us. What is it? What's happening? Stop watching the skies. As much as you think you know, you don't know the half of it. Stop watching. You're back. Charlie Sheen. The Arrival. Rated PG-13. Starts May 31st at theaters everywhere. The temperature inside your mouth is 98.6 degrees. The same as a sweltering jungle. Yeah. But the temperature inside a winter fresh mouth tastes... Yeah. Winter fresh gum from Wrigley's. Yeah. That lasts. Uh -huh. And lasts. Yeah. And lasts. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Try winter fresh gum for icy cool breath that lasts. Bad hair days, beer guzzling boyfriends, and breakfast food from hell. It's all cannon fodder for Comedy Central's Femme Fatales. Watch Must She TV this Friday night starting at 6 at Comedy Central. You don't have to be a star, baby, to be in the audience of Politically Incorrect. For tickets in Hollywood, call 213-852-2655. Dream On gives you more bang for your cable watching buck. It's got sass. What? Clap. No, right, all right, but she makes some porno movies. What? Cop. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. If she's been sitting in your chair and eating your porridge, I think we've got a description. Robbers. I want something to eat, eh? I'm not gonna feed you. And a steady stream of enormously uh, affectionate women. For all this and more, catch Dream On Monday through Thursday nights at 10 here at Comedy Central. Why not try two hands in the club? Okay, you guys, I'm all set up in this thing. What was it for again? Oh, if you must know, Joel, we're going to surgically alter your face so you look just like Arch Hall Jr. Oh, yes. Wait a minute, who's Arch Hall Jr.? Oh, you know, Arch Hall Jr., the butt-ugly teen star in today's movie. Oh. Now, this might hurt a bit. Oh, Dr. Gypsy, patient needs gas. Oh. And how are we today? Mm -hmm. Oh, what a night, nice big boy, you are. <laughs> He's toast. See you guys in post stop. Ah, yes. Uh, let's get cracking, Dr. Tom. Yes. Once that gas wears off, I don't know how long those restraints will hold. Don't give it another thought, Dr. Crow. By the time oh. Joel comes to, he'll have no recourse but to take up a career as a wimpy B-movie actor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Doctor, yes. I have a mad posh to start with the arch hair. <laughs> Switching on arch hair. <laughs> ah, and it smells bad, too. Yes. Now, quickly, Dr. Tom, let's smoosh his face up to look like a sunburned baby. <laughs> Mm. Sunburn baby, I told you your face coming up. Mm, <laughs> looking good, Dr. Tom. But he needs that inhuman Play-Doh color skin. But how? Don't fret, Dr. Crow. The pigment's on its way. Watch. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, yes. The sleeper awakens. Uh -oh. Hurry, he's almost complete. Oh, boy. I'll give him the Arch Hall nose and let's get the hell out of here. Yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. I don't want to look like Arch Hall Jr. Alas, Babylon, quick, Gypsy, hit him with the fixative. Oh, it's God. almost... It is movie time. Oh, my God. You know that really hurt? Oh, no. Sorry. Sorry. Ugh. Wait, who am I? What am I? Why am I? Who am I looking for? Well, about that time, old Coyote had a hankering for some grubs. <laughs> Man, this old desert stinks. I can't find one clean spot. Mmm, I smell something oily and pink. I can't eat any more of this. Fake it. That's what I've been doing. Now I'm getting sick. I'm talking like Loretta Lynn. Ega. Is that his name? It might be. That's the word he says most of the time. Ega. 
He also says the word rayon, which is weird. Oh, what? Dad, no. Oh, want a peritif? That's all I need now. You can drink a health. Ooh, I don't see how anybody can drink that horrible stuff. Yeah, you tried Crystal Pepsi? <laughs> Some people will drink anything. We'll put lime and coconut drink all up. Uh, I guess it can't hurt me. It hurt Make me. it last as long as you can. It won't hurt you if you're doing something. A prehistoric gentleman, huh? <laughs> Thank you. It's a sipping well, drink. here's to you. Up yours. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Gonna get this the egot trots for make sure. strong? You have to be strong to drink in the first place. Can I get a beer back with this? No, no. I, I'm so Thank you. Come on, soup, good food. Sarah T, the portrait of a teenage alcoholic. No, 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 honey, I need someone new. My contacts are killing me. What is it? Believe it or not, Dad. I'm going to look this etching. No! Oh, oh, it's nice. No, no, no. This, this. Oh, you like that one? I don't even like to show it. You see the line all. This cubist could be black influence. Look, there's a ripple on that rock. Apparently, E got covered the cave with muslin. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. This one really good. <laughs> In time before born live man sail sea. What is it? This guy's good. It's me in my car. Oh, it is her. It's me. Well, that's what she thinks. It's actually Sandra D. Roxy. Roxy. Hey, maybe you should move around a little bit, Arch. If Egon makes me drink any more of this sulfur water, I'll die. We've got to keep him busy. I know. And Come up, Archie. So as a matter of fact, a little bitter, which seems to have a certain quality that's good for you. <laughs> I wouldn't be a bit surprised if the sulfur in these walls isn't what's kept these giants alive all these years. You mean these You know, even in crisis, these two are dull. Mm-hmm. Where have you seen those before? Keith Herring exhibit. In that even friend. Exactly. Where is that exhibit? Sure. Same style, same everything. Same bat Definitely channel. Definitely prehistoric. No duh. Yes, I'd say that he and his tribe have always been here. Are there others? No, he's the last one. And where will his seed fund How can purchase? You be sure. I mm-hmm. took a good look at his family. From the condition of the shrouds, I'd say if the last one died, fifty, a hundred years. How come this clown knows more than Richard Leakey? How old is that? Ega with the laughing face. Today, ladies and gentlemen, Ega is 400 years young. He's been there since the beginning of time, and he's only drawn three pictures. Don't know. Here, uh, you take the Don't count. Know. Here it comes. Wait huh? for it. Stemlo. Stemlo. Oh, Stemlo. Oh. This is the dark ritual of primitive mating. You'll get used to it. Crime time after prime time is on. Can we watch it? Uh, we get it, Ega. We're just not tired. Uh, uh the big sleep. Uh, no, six pack. Uh, uh, long day's journey into. Oh, yes. I want to sleep with the woman. Get it? Do I have to put on my Marvin Gaye album or what? I don't know, honey. You didn't do this with me. What are they doing? They're telling secrets, honey. Mm. <gasps> oh, Ted, someone's watching. What? Can I help you? Roxy. Roxy. Band practice. <laughs> oh, man, how long have I been oily? I think he's nesting. <laughs> oh, yuck. He's grooming himself. How? Uh, 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 well, back to another day of whining. Uh. Okay, get out, hair oil. 
I feel like I'm getting closer to the midterm. <laughs> hey! Bingo. Basic H from Shackley for all your liquid needs. <laughs> well, day is getting away from me. <clears throat> Roxy! 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 Uh, good morning, good morning, we've got the whole light through. This movie isn't healthy for children and other living things. Roxy. Honey, you're sleeping on the commode, honey. Roxy! Marjo, ah! Junior, oh. get away! Oh. It's you, Dad. Go see if the rock's in place. Go. Now's the chance. I'm up, Dad. Guy. You should take a knife and cut through the canvas. It's there. What are we going oh. to do? You're in a saggy cave that leaks. What can <laughs> I do? Help me back. I gotta sit down. No, no. Don't touch it. It's mine. It's got to be tied up or something, doesn't it? Oh, no. There's some aspirin. From my beer bag. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't see it. He brought it here. It must be around someplace. It's the red thing that's not prehistoric. Why don't you ask Uncle Dave over there? Keep looking. You probably hid it somewhere. It's a cave. How hard do you have to look? Oh, there it is. It was over here in his armoire. Hey, I got a crazy idea. Let's rearrange his family while he's away. The aspirin's in that small pocket. Uh, Dad, why did you bring your bowling ball? <coughs> I'm sick. Give me two. Oh, no, no. Keep them coming. Come on, come on. The classic aspirin scene. Drink a lot of water. Who gives you strength? And there's hardly any rat in it. It won't knit bones, honey. It's got to be tied up with something, doesn't it? No, it feels pretty good now. Liar. That's no way to talk to your father. The trouble with you is I spoiled you. You sure did. God, what have I said? And of the road with Comedy Central's Dream on Marathon. There is so much sexual experimentation on this show that sometimes I blush. Watch My Favorite Martin, a day-long marathon of Dream On starting Sunday at noon. There's more soap residue in your hair than you think. So you'd better call your RainSoft water treatment dealer today. This is a mockery of justice. Listen, listen, we're doing everything we can to get you out of here. But you have to trust me on this. I know. I know. We went over that yesterday. They're treating you like an animal in here. I'm here for you. Mug root beer. The foam goes straight to your brain. Don't turn your back on me. Look at me. Incredibly shiny, healthy hair begins with Citrus Shine. With natural extracts of exotic citrus fruits, Citrus Shine responds to your hair's individual needs. With nourishing shampoos, protective conditioners, stylers that hold and control, and shine treatments that maximize luster. Citrus Shine is nature's prescription for beautiful hair. So rediscover healthy, shiny hair the natural way. You can enjoy the world of beauty, excitement, and adventure. All these and more can be yours in the wonderful world of art. And with this art test from Art Instruction School, you can find out if you have the interest and desire needed to become a serious art student. So to get your free art test without cost or obligation, call this toll-free number now. Call 1-800-862-1000. That's 1-800-862-1000. Hollywood Hot Tubs 3 with Kelly Monty. What can I do? Nothing. I'll just sit here. How about if I washed your face? Or gave you a shave? It'll make you feel better. You've got all your junk here. I know it's weird, but I'm into weird. Okay. A uh, shave it is. Sad, really. 
Say, isn't it about time Tom got back to the gas station? Oh, uh, he's on sabbatical. Oh. Hmm. There you go. Patience, my ass. I'm gonna kill something. Is this some kind of a weird biathlon or something? Roxy! <laughs> Roxy! Roxy! Oh! Ew, no! Joel, I'm gonna slap this movie so Ooh. hard. <laughs> Mad dog! <laughs> Ah! Oh! Oh! He's so sick. Oh, please become Sweeney Todd. Please, please, please become please. the demon barmer of Fleet Sweet Moral right now. Have you seen Andalusian Dog? Yeah. I have often walked down the street before. We're on a collision course with wackiness. Roxy, Roxy, I got swimming suit rash. <laughs> there goes one stupid young man. Red roses for a blue lady. Ega shaka, ega, ega, ega shaka, ega, ega, ega shaka. Oh, it's just Ega. Look, before he has a chance to block the entrance, I'll get his attention. You run out. I'll leave you. Do as I tell you. Not this time, Dad. Papa, don't you. You were lucky last night. He's had time to think about you. Yeah. Get your head bashed in. My father didn't raise me that way. Nah, nah, nah. Huh? Well? He's covered with foam again. Continuity. Ega, honey, father's here for dinner. One, two, body at the cow in a jail. Honey, did you bring home some milk and bread? A poem by Henry Gibson. Yeah. He brought these flowers. We've got to get his mind on something else. Make a production out of it. Say, Tom, whistle. Come on. Oh, 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 I'm being punished for something. I know I am. What could I have done? I didn't ask to see this movie. Uh, honey, when's your dad moving out? Uh, kind of weird shaving your dad, isn't it? Rose? He's interested. He almost forgot to shut the door. Well, that doesn't say much for my sex appeal. Oh. Stop singing. Stop singing. First blade lift hair, second one cut clean. Uh -huh. Now I suppose he wants to shave. Good, give it to him. Anything to please the customer. Anybody else think this show's sick to say ego? Ego. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do some spirit gun remover. Why don't you just cut the string that holds that beard on? Try these. They're toasted. Oh, I got a Floby in here, too. I know what let's do. Let's feather it. Yeah. Okay, baby. Oh, yes, you know what I like. Yeah. It's a giant healer monster. <laughs> oh, he's starting to look like Marky Post. Roxy! Oh, he's calling all the animals to help him. Hey, I got a message from Roxy. She said to hang on. Oh, boy, this is one of Egon's problem areas there. Egon liked so much, he'd buy company. Better watch him with that shaving bomb. Egon's gonna do whippets. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> so, who do you like in the big game tonight? I am big game. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Make, oh, make him stop. Oh, oh, that's oh, not a tongue, oh. it's a musky leech. <laughs> oh. Oh, for once, I'm glad to see him. Mm. You don't have to wear that dress tonight. 
Better job of shaving him, Roxy. There's no way of telling how that fellow looks. Mm -hmm. I like Ike. <laughs> mm, me look like Anthony Michael Hall. Mm, no, more like Sandra Bernhardt. Oh, this could be a real cute engagement photo. Well, try parting it on the left. Dad, were you talking? Here, thank you. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Set the hook, Roxy. Home side, edge side. I warn you, Roxy, go upset it. Man. Oh, boo. Boo. Oh, boo. Uh, you like the pretty smell? Here. This is loaded with perfume. Yeah, that's probably Giorgio. What a film. Uh, this imposter fragrance. I'm going to try and get him to move the rock. Between love and Fred Flintstone lies obsession. These smell pretty too. Where did you get them? Off there? On the exit ramp? Yes, I really think we should put some water. Don't patronize me. I guess you're right. There are plenty more out there. Mm -hmm. I didn't know Senator Peck would be so tall. See? Take it. I'll bet you ever seen anything like that before. <laughs> pretty. <laughs> Don't you think it's pretty? I'm punching. Do you mind? Give him something else. No, oh, Dad. What? My what? I have no anything else. Except for some cheese food combos. Okay, you drive a hard bargain, lady. That was a mistake. Turn it off. I hate to think what Camille Polly would say don't about this. Don't give me the idea I don't like you, but my father. He might shout something at you. He can see us. He. Come to pull That's the idea. That's exactly what I've been saying. We can go outside. What a dope. Didn't you say take out Dad? Outside. Don't touch that dial. Sprint Sense International gives you great rates to countries all over the world. What more could you want? How about some cash? Cash would be good. Yes, some cash back. Good point. Presenting Sprint Sense International with something new, cash back. Call now for these simply great rates on calls to countries all around the world. Plus, get rewarded with 10% cash back for every dollar you spend. For me, that would be at least $100 a year. So call now for just 50 cents a minute to these countries in Europe, 65 cents to these countries in Asia, 70 cents to Japan, and now 10 cents a minute to Canada on weekends. Call now and we'll even switch you for free. What about domestic calls? You'll get cash back on domestic calls too. And with Sprint Sense International, you'll get a great 10 cents a minute rate on every state to state call. So call now. Cash back would be great. Good idea. Cash back. It's one phrase that's understood around the world. Get simply great rates now and 10% cash back. Call now. 1-800-227-2394. chapter has been written, but the adventure isn't over with Star Trek The Next Generation, the collector's edition on video cassette. Again, start your video collection where it all began with the classic two-hour series premiere and counter at Farpoint for $4.95. Yes. 
this far point station will be an excellent test. Every scene, every episode is a masterpiece of science fiction. And Star Trek The Next Generation, the collector's edition, includes episodes you won't find anywhere else. There is no minimum to buy. There is no commitment. This is a journey only you can decide to continue. To get your introductory video of Star Trek The Next Generation, the collector's edition, for only $4.95, have your credit card ready and call toll-free. 1-800-447-8000. Sounds like the same old family vacation, unless it's Virginia Beach. The family vacation takes on a whole new meaning in Virginia Beach. Call now and we'll send you our free vacation planner and coupon book, Virginia Beach. They may be saying the same old things, but it won't be the same old vacation. Sure. Oh, how are your kids getting along? You broke. I'll, I'll kick you. My collarbone. What's the collarbone? Calling all units. Domestic in progress by the canyon. Well, she's showing more courage than her dad. Who did that? Help me, Spock. Clown, uh huh. Nah, he wouldn't fit in the den. Let's read on him. Oh, uh, the Chianti is gone. Uh. Would someone help me with the door, please? Crack down, that is little cutie. Always thing, oh, uh, ouchie, my pants, ah. Uh. Oh, the collarbone, the collarbone. Don't, don't you know, first aid. Get after them. The doom buggy, just down the canyon. Right oh. Go on. Ah, uh, don't forget your little satchel. Good. That purse will be the death of him. <laughs> the thing goes to the baby. Yeah, could have just carried my wallet in my pocket, I suppose. Uh, surprise! Happy birthday! All part of his drop your guns program. Ew, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> you hurt Ega's feelings. Oh, poopy. Double poopy. Yes! 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 yes. <laughs> He's resting comfortably now. Yes! Mm. <laughs> you want a little shot of the ego, you big fan? Come on, you stupid zinge. <laughs> I'll throw this grapefruit at you. <laughs> Ooh, right in the area. No. Oh, you guy, I thought you were our toe. Ah! Ah! Cool it, Roxy. Everything's all right. Tom, I want to start seeing guys from other eras. Dad! He's huh? okay. He's waiting for us. You got a chorus pedal in that purse? Jerry! <laughs> Can't keep a good ego down. Oh. It's a paper cut. The most embarrassing day of my life. <laughs> if you prick Egod, do he not bleed? Well, I pretty much saved the day there. Mm -hmm. Oh, got the bag all bungee down. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. I have a good life. Hi, kid. Hi, chicken dad. dad. Bill Clinton likes. Ooh. Take off the pit helmet. Run, kids, run! Dad, don't layer your voice like that. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> Top of the dune, ma. 
double sink. Dad, quit wiggling in my seat like that. Oh, no, the oldest cliche in the movie. They're doomed. It won't start. Let me. Hello, Hall family. I'm not letting you leave without some of this yummy hot dish. Hurry! What's wrong with it? I rigged it so nobody could steal it. Out here? At least take some of these nutty caramel rolls. Are you supposed to drive away from them? Gordon got up with that one. All in one, the count. Oh, you, you. pretty chicken bang, bang bang, pretty chicken bang, bang bang, we love you. Oh, there's smoochers on my property! What's this? Ega ogling our allies? Callous pro magnum conniptions? Uh, is it okay if we still go wee? Well, let's wait till we outrun them first. Okay. What about this three bean salad? It'll go bad! What? What? Okay, bye. Wait, you guys got my purse. We have to go back. Over to your right. The robot monster set. Dead end. Dead end, dead end. Dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end. What's with the whimsical sitcom music? <laughs> Hey, hey, stupid caveman dude. Read between the lines, man. <laughs> run, Bob Ryan! Bye bye, then. Don't, don't forget to stay in touch. Bye. Okay. Which way? I'll start with away from him. Hey, did I tell you my tires are filled with water? My tires are filled with water. Hi, I'm back! Oh, now where are you? You know, goodbyes are hard for you guys. Here, have some Irish soda bread! I thought for sure that would hit them. Hey, you're going the wrong way. Okay. Honey? Just fine, Dad. Wow, wait, there he is. Yep, pretty much. So long, high pocket. The tall jokes are funny, but they hurt. <laughs> Torn between two lovers, feeling like a fool. Stay alive, whatever may occur, I will... I covered that one earlier. And as we left the clam flowage desert, somehow we knew that we would return hunting for the mighty jacks. Well, back to the cave. Lost my girlfriend, got my ego crushed. Been working on my beard since 3000 BC, and boom, it's gone. You gotta have a bad day. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is gonna be good. You know, it's as much fun to make as it is to eat. Well, I hope it tastes good because the as much fun to make part just isn't happening for me. Uh, say, Joel, I got a question about today's experiment. Mm -hmm. You know, that Roxy chick hangs out with her dad a lot, but where's her mom? Oh, well, I'm sure dad's a widower. Well, how do you know he wasn't divorced? Well, because the movie took place in the 60s, and back then divorce was considered socially unacceptable, and so the entertainment industry's elegant solution was the untimely death of a spouse. Yeah. You know, you're right, Joel. Now that I think of it, the families on TV back then were mostly run by widowers. <laughs> I mean, think of it, guys. The Andy Griffith Show, Mayberry RFD, Courtship of Eddie's father, oh, my three sons, Flipper, yeah. even the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> the list goes on and on. Yeah, the only normal family back then was the Munsters. <laughs> so, uh, what happened to all those spouses on yeah. all those 60 shows? I mean, geez, back then marrying a good-natured suburban guy with cute, precocious kids was like buying a one-way ticket to an early grave. <laughs> right, well, I know that on my three sons, Steve Douglas's wife's untimely death had something to do with Secret Project X-15, yeah. Oh. 
Uh -huh. So how about Uncle Charlie? Did he have a dead wife? Oh, well, he was secretly married to Bob, who died under mysterious circumstances that were hushed up by the government. Now you're making stuff Let's up. Let's push the corn. Okay. So uh, what about Mr. Eddie's father's wife, Wahapa? Oh, you mean um, Mrs. Livingston? Yeah. Uh, she tragically died, leaving the Earth's atmosphere, running away with my favorite Martian. It's sad, really. Oh, now you're making stuff up. Yeah. You know, when you come right down to it, what we're really talking about here, guys, is a cheap plot device that enables young swinging bachelors to mix it up with a hot young lady and still have adorable kids that they can dispense folksy homespun advice to. Yeah, I guess it was all pretty harmless. Mm. Oh, wait a minute, what do you mean harmless? An entire generation grew up watching shows run by single parents. No wonder the nuclear family has exploded in recent years. Hey, I just thought of something. We don't have a mom either. Well, hey, yeah, we're latchkey bots. Oh, <laughs> come on, you guys. Give me a break. Come on, I'm stranded in space. And besides, when I was a kid, I saw the ABC movie of the week with Herschel Bernardi. But I don't want to get married. And it had a profound effect on me. Well, don't worry, Joel. We both know we have a lot to be grateful for. We have you. We have Gypsy. Cambot. Magic Voice. But most importantly, we have lots and lots of love. And that's something you just don't get in a two-parent household. This thing wasn't even on. Oh, God. Let's look at right back. I'm Dr. Ruth. Join me for a discussion of sex and the modern man. Part of Comedy Central is my favorite Martin. And remember, he's not my Martin, he's not your Martin, he's our Martin. Watch My Favorite Martin, a day-long marathon of Dream On starting Sunday at noon. Hello, I'm Mary Major, and these are real people, not actors, who are taking advantage of PRN's exceptional psychics. I'm about to find out how it's going. Michelle, how was your free sample reading? It was excellent. I'm shocked. <laughs> Basically, all I told her was my name and my birth date. That's it. And she told me everything else, and she made me a believer. He was like, well, it could be mother, mother to be, and I said, well, I am pregnant. She told you things that nobody would know about you unless they knew you personally. Exactly. I felt like she was just right with me and knew my life as soon as I picked up the phone. It was nice. We laughed and everything. She made she made you feel comfortable. And it was great. It was it was nice. They told me everything about my life, every step that I'm going to take. And I didn't even tell them anything. Just my name, my birthday. And, you know, she's just telling me everything from there. Looks like you guys found the right people. <laughs> For one, someone's found the right people. For your free sample reading, call now. 1-800-511-1423. You can enjoy the world of beauty, excitement, and adventure. All these and more can be yours in the wonderful world of art. And with this art test from Art Instruction Schools, you can find out if you have the interest and desire needed to become a serious art student. So to get your free art test without cost or obligation, call this toll-free number now. Call 1-800-862-1000. That's 1-800-862-1000. Honey, I'm home. Got off a little early today. Sweetheart? Did the plumber come to fix that sink? Sweetheart? Where's my kitten? You're gonna win, you're gonna go, you're head of the pack, you're king of the show, you're on the moon, street to the top. You're way out in front. You'll never stop. You're gonna win. Think positive. You're gonna win. There's always Comedy Central. What is this? A prehistoric endless love? Well, criminy. I lived next to Palm Springs all this time. Didn't even know it. <laughs> you got Wait a minute. Why do they have a statue of Pat Nixon in there? Oh, what's he gonna do? Match the swatch? We're close, sir. Oh, man. I gotta get a hold of myself. I'm getting hot over a mannequin. It's cold and distant. Ah, well. 
Jeez, how the heck with her? Taxi! Look out, there's a Foley artist! Watch out for snakes. Econo Lodge, but why? Roxy! Honey, why do we have an oven in the living room? Well, I'm not. You're gonna have to help me. I can't manage the tie. Here, I'll do it. Does it have to be this one? Young lady, that happens to be one of my favorite ties. But the color. You gave it to me four years ago. <laughs> Why, it's lovely. Jerry Garcia designed it. Dad, whatever happened to Mom? Are you sure you're feeling well enough to go out tonight? Honey, we've got to go out. Well, it's not anything special. It's just a party. Your whole gang will be there. Yeah. You can't avoid them forever. But you no. should. Some of them laugh a little. Well, if I know Agnes Henderson, she'll laugh a lot. Hello, I've got your Girl Scout cookies. Oh, this is some of his best acting right here. What'll happen to him? I don't know, but I'm certain we're doing the right thing. If we were to reveal that a giant actually exists, there'd be a whole army out there tracking him down like an animal. No, they wouldn't. We wouldn't let them. Hmm? Honey, he's from another age. Another eon. Like me. Come in. Hi, it's me, Eagar. Say, my hands are full. Can you grab something for me? Hello, Mr. Miller. Ew. Ew. Wow, D. Wow, wow. Oh, I can feel his eyes on me. You sure look swell, Roxy. Thank you. It's like Stockard Channing. I'll only be a minute. Is something wrong, Mr. Miller? Sit down, pie face. It's a We're long just list. We're about our little adventure. Oh, I see. You do? Well, sure. A girl like Roxy don't get over a thing like that right away. Doesn't. That's what I say. Oh, gonna... She's got to get her mind off it. And Miss Hop tonight will help. Hop? Huh? Yeah, my combo's going to be there. Man, they swing. I'd like to meet oh, your combo. Hey. I'm ready. Wowie, wow, wow. Well, let's split oh. then. Uh, sir, uh, why do you have an oven in your living room? Uh, Mr. Miller, I got my dad's wheels tonight. Really? Do they fit on your car? <laughs> <laughs> You're funny, Mr. Miller. Real funny. I'm going to kill you last. <laughs> Girl. Sure, whatever, let's go. There's not even any glass there. Oh, this place is a piece of cake. Oh, there's a collection of dead people. These people live like pigs. Hey, check it out. There's an oven in the living room. Little <laughs> paneling go a long way. Looks like Greg Tolan photographs us. <laughs> <laughs> How would that smell again? Oh, yeah. uh, I missed him. I'll leave a note. Um, I'm in here. Ooh, he's really got to go. How did these work again? <laughs> Twist or pull or pu push? Here's Johnny. Yeah. Oh, it's a U.S. Holmes home. Mm. Fifty women in there. Hey, it's an all-meat buffet. Yep. That's right. No decorations, no plush seating, just meat and meat setups. Sir, the horse radius is on the side. Huh? Whoa! 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 Whoa!
Honestly, he's he's scary, isn't he? Wait, let me tell you. Police! Ray Bolger, no! Ooh, seconds. Hey, wait a minute, friend. What is this, a masquerade? That is Miller's giant dog. Hmm? Oh, come on, you can talk plainer than that. I'm sorry, oh, sir, take that outside. He's real. What did he say? He's real. Of course, he's real. <laughs> hey, no horseplay on deck. Jerry, <laughs> quick, call the police. There's a sign of a giant here. Okay. Uh, Take one caveman, a buffet, and a swimming pool, and you get caveman and go go. <laughs> the lifeguard saw you, you know. <laughs> and like Stevenson did it, did it? Large man or giant creating disturbance. I have no idea how I started the car. The dumb blue line. So, uh, when does that combo that really swings show up? It turns you to left at the side of the toe To the empty old house on the brown road Ready, steady, fight me A crazy thing to happen to the the Excuse me When you can have tropical freezes, the frozen drinks with everything already in them, including the alcohol. Ta-da! Great fun. Yeah, it was fun for me. Tropical freezes. It's already ready already. Too much acid in your pipes? Better call Rainsoft. You want to let her call you a black hole? Not a hole, a black hole. What's a black hole? When she became coach, oh! the Knicks were nothing but losers. You are not a coach. You're not a player looking like a little roach. Now she'll put some funk. You don't want to hustle. You don't want to do anything. In their dunk. Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> and ready PG-13. Starts Friday, May 31st at a theater near you. The jobs of tomorrow are here, thousands of them, waiting to be filled. But you have to know the fields they're in, and you have to have what it takes to master those fields. Because you can't get the jobs of tomorrow until you get the skills of today. Start by calling ITT Technical Institute for an informative brochure. Call 1-800-741-5307. 1-800-741-5307. Call 5307 now. So, are you with AT&T? No. Oh, how's your long-distance company working out for you? I'm not happy at all. But what if I gave you some really good reasons to switch to AT&T, including up to 100 free AT&T minutes? That would be wonderful. Only AT&T customers can get AT&T True Reach Savings. I didn't know that. Yeah. Spend $25 a month and you save 25% on every type of call on your AT&T phone bill. It's easy. It's free. You can call anyone anywhere in the U.S. And you see your savings on your AT&T phone bill. I don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure it out. <laughs> no, but you do have to be an AT&T customer. Switch now and we'll send you AT&T long distance certificates good for up to 100 free AT&T minutes. You can use your free minutes to call, well, anybody. So, what are you going to do? Switch to AT&T. Good. Then why not give us a call right now? You didn't ask me what I was going to do. Okay. Who's a long distance company for you? It's hands down AT&T. That's your true choice. AT&T. You're watching Comedy Central. Hey! I just wanted some fresh air, that's all. Is it, honey? Fresh, I mean. I'll go to the papers, Daddy. No. Dad, I've got the funniest feeling. Downstairs. What is it? You know, stuff. I can't describe it, but I just know something's happened to him. Him? Ega. Who's Ega? The giant. Oh. Or whatever it is. Something's happened to him. Rachi, look at me. I love you very much. Mm -hmm. I wish I could like return the sentiment. 
Every living thing was her personal concern, and she worried about them. I gotta go tan now. That's just it, Dad. But you see, worry isn't the feeling that I have. It's more nausea. I don't know what it is. He's a creature. Well, you just have to look at him to see that. He even tried to kill us. But basically, he's a good egg. But yet... You can't get him out of your mind. Bonk. Is this the third man all of a sudden? Oh, Ega's a mall walker. Oh, oh, that's cute, but I gotta go back. Always go back, Rick. That's my job for about two more years. If I can hold on to you that long, then it'll be up to somebody else. Hey, Richard Speck is there. Maybe him, huh? No! Hey! Where you been? I was belting out a tune just for you in there. I look up and you're gone. We could hear every word, Tom. I said hear, not understand. You're funny, Mr. Miller. Really funny. I'm being sarcastic. Oh, Let's dance. Mm. Wait a minute. What's the matter? I thought I heard sirens. Oh, that's Dino's sax, at least. <laughs> it looks like the Grifters meets Quest for Fire. Mm. Snoop sisters, meet, hate them. No, we're not with Pat. Pat hate George Goble. Ugh, no, no, George. No. Oh, boy, that was close. Hey, it's Wilma Flintstone's mom. Ooh. Let's sneak another peek, Ethel. <laughs> hello, Mr. Giant. Serve it to sticks upstairs. Hello? hello. Oh, crap. My room's always by the ice machine. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, Gary. I had the wrong page of the Hudson Street map. Hey, generic cops. They're cheaper than regular cops. Hmm? Oh, the sheriff's barking out orders. <laughs> Charlie, look out! You two are on your own. Bunny slippers. Oh, don't do that. Abner, I saw a giant. Don't Come do it, Charlie. Oh, I guess she's working through her grief. Look, you look at my thorax. Tequila. He walked out on his own song. Tequila. Tequila. This band has more personnel changes than Menudo. It's a tag team band. Tequila. Oops. I didn't know they were dancing. I'd swear this was a fight. What? I say, looks like a fight. Oh, boy, you're a good dancer. We're co-guarding that joint, Floyd. Where'd my date go? Oh, oh, there you are. Well, shall we? You asking? Come on, you clown. <laughs> I'm with you, bud. Together forever and ever. Wait a minute, something's wrong here. Where's my girlfriend? Tequila. 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 Can I have my date back, please? Thank you. <laughs> Not as strong as I used to be. <laughs> Tequila. I'm gonna get you! Huh? Hey, how 
come I don't get Foley. She's my girl. I'm gonna smash you. Hi, everybody. The Hat Squad. Well, the invitation didn't say where or when. Actually, I didn't get one. <laughs> Hope it's okay, I crashed. Yeah. Oh, it's looking like Altamont all over again. Oh, no, don't! Don't drink the last beer! Let's go! Oh. Just push him in the pool. He's probably got tubes in his ears. Man, she gets picked up so much, she should have a handle. There he is. Hold, hold on fire. The guy looks like a toy. <laughs> Don't shoot. He just in the chair. Oops, too late. <laughs> At your Lincoln Mercury dealer. <laughs> we run out of checks, Max. <laughs> That's a strange thing to wield. Hey, Mom, watch him, Mom. Hey, little, 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 little. Uh, we're going to need a really big skimmer. Oopsie daisy. Uh, ah, he's an evil specter. So, how about that drink? Mood's gone, Floyd. Poor devil. He tampered in God's domain. Boy, ironic. Bastard never saw an in-ground pool before. You remember? I love you. Who said Why that? You is he real? Who is he? Yes, he was real. What's that? It says so. In the book of Genesis. But Phil Collins? There were giants in the earth in those days. Chapter 4, verse 32. Oh, that's totally out of context. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Oh. 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 I feel sticky and dirty. Oh, oh I feel filthy. My very soul is defiled. That's and... okay, guys. We'll get you all cleaned up, okay? <laughs> yeah, we gotta go. Oh, I think it's good. Uh, all go. right. Joel, oh, turn the water on. I gotta wash the ego off me. I'm naked and afraid. Hey, don't look. So, 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 I can feel that slimy movie all over me. Ugh, it's like wearing an Orlan sweater soaked in cat liver oil. Out of the day. Say, would you be a deer and turn the shower massage head on pulsey for me? Got it. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, uh, pass me the Phil's nap, though, would you? Okay, got it. Here it comes. <laughs> oh, thanks. Hey, there's a hair on this. Um, we don't have hair. <laughs> anyway, you guys, we could just uh, get nice and clean, and I'll read this nice letter, and uh, that'll be nice, okay? Oh, okay and okay. this comes from Lynn Ruff and Nancy Payne. Let's put that on Still Store, and the picture on Still Store. And it says, Dear Joel and the Bots, this missive is winging its way to you from two of your very devoted fans. We recently watched the day the Earth froze, where the search for our Sampo was pivotal to the movie. You expressed a desire to know what our Sampo was. So we felt obliged to send photos of an actual Sampo. <laughs> See enclosed, okay? And uh, there's the picture with us right on the Sampo. And that comes from Lynn Ruff and Nancy Payton. Oh, oh, boy. I feel like a new man. Who watched that movie right off of me? It's amazing what a little soap and water can do. Okay, what do you think, sir? Uh, not now, Joel. Daddy forgot fresh, regularly scheduled maintenance. All the coolant leaked out. Seized a right up. Just got the thing paid for, too. Say, do you think, baby, I could possibly get my blood back, please? Oh, you want your blood back? Fine. 
baby, baby, baby. I'll put your blood back in. I'll pour it right back in. Come on. Come on, Frank. No, no, no. You know what? I don't, I don't even want it anymore. You yeah. take it. You yeah, take no, it. no, I insist. No, you, you take it. You take it. blood. Here. You baby. take it, you big, stupid, bully butt. You take it. I'm, you know what? I'm going to push the button. Oh, That's you're going right. to push the button? Go ahead. Right push now. the button, Frank. I'm pushing it. Okay, Frank. push it then. I dare you. You need your mommy? I'm pushing the button. Oh. been a presentation from Comedy Central. One day, the Weather Channel says it's going to be sunny. The next day, they say it might rain. Well, which is it? Where do they really stand? Send a message to those wafflers at the Weather Channel. Watch Comedy Central. At least we're consistent. Paid for by the committee to smear everyone but Comedy Central. And W root beer. When you want one, you want one.